I'm Celine Cousteau. I am a documentary filmmaker, environmental advocate, and a bit of everything, actually. The most obvious way I got into what I'm doing is that my family has for generations been working on ocean issues. My grandfather, Jacques Cousteau, uh, started filmmaking in the 1950s underwater. My mother was an expedition photographer for 13 years, so I got to see all of those photos that she would come home with. Because I grew up in the family that I'm in, it's always been a part of my life to see other places either through my own eyes or through the work of my family and um, that influenced obviously um, what I'm doing now. My grandfather taught me to dive. It was a five minute lesson. I was almost nine years old off the coast of Monaco and it happened in such a natural way that it, I think it just became integrated in me. And I think that stayed with me. I think it's nurturing, it's a meditative place, it's restorative. Sometimes it's, it's intense um, and that's sometimes what you're seeking. I also have a profound respect for the oceans, uh, for the sea life that's there, and for the people that work within the oceans, because it's, it's a realm we still know little of. I mean, there's still so much to explore. People always want to know, like, what animals have you seen underwater? What's impressed you? I have to say that encountering humpback whales has been a profound experience. We had an opportunity to approach this just absolutely amazing pod. There was one singer, there were four males courting a female, and not far away there was a mother and her calf, and they just, they allowed us to be so close to them. And to have a whale just glance over at you, acknowledge you, and then move on, it's just, wow. I mean, it's really hard to describe unless you're there, and you can watch it obviously on these big screens, and, and you know, documentaries are made about these things, but to actually be there in that moment is, is humbling, it's magical, it's, um, it's inspiring, you know, and, and I feel a profound respect for those animals. To contrast that amazing experience, um, I was filming a documentary series in Chile. We came across a humpback whale that was entangled in a fishing net. And there was nobody else around, we're 370 miles offshore, and we were able to disentangle the whale without having had any prior experience. But that's a stark contrast to the beautiful images that we see underwater for the most part and what we put on television and a true testament to what is actually happening in our oceans. If, if we're constantly in cities and we're surrounded with our technology, we're never really paying attention or touching the ground, um, then I think we're completely disconnected from reality, truthfully. And the natural world for me is, is about perspective. Is, you, know, you need to take your shoes off and feel the grass. You need to stop every once in a while and breathe the air. You need to touch the ocean. Because we are an integral part of the natural world, I think it's paramount and important that people reconnect with the natural world to understand that humans are just one species on the planet. That's all we are. I mean, we're no different than what's happening behind me or any animal that's in the jungle. Um, it's just that we have the intelligence to create this new reality that we live in. So. I'm finding that more and more we need to reconnect, especially our children, back to the natural world, back to the environment, so that we, we become more grounded. As a filmmaker, you, you end up hearing and seeing and, and telling so many different stories. And nowadays, it's not enough just to tell those stories. You end up becoming an advocate for the subject that you're filming, because we're able to go and get these absolutely stunning visuals um, that becomes a great and powerful communication tool because we have everyday choices to make and it's important that people know that they can make those and feel empowered to make those choices. I mean our, our own livelihood, our human livelihood depends on how we are going to take care of this planet because if the planet's not healthy, if the ocean's not healthy, humans aren't healthy. It can only be to our benefit to have a healthy environment. So is it going to work? We don't have a choice, it has to work. I have a son. I'm not, I'm not going to let this planet go to the negative side. <laughs>